so next we will go for confluence so here you can see multiple dots click on this and select this confluence as i told again this is a kind of center repository to maintain your documents okay here also it's asking how does you create team so i want so this team will be software development next select your role development manager development manager space name okay so this is why i am using as a okay so this is customer onboarding project i have given workspace name there first time it will take some time since it's doing so in my team again i will add few members so let me take those or maybe some someone else want to so three person give your email id anyone giving no then let me take this email id only So I took three email ID in my team. Now here you can see at this point, by default I got few repository or few folders here. Okay. So what I will do here you can see we have multiple pages. Okay. So what I will do I will create few more page. Click on plus. and this page will be my page name i will give as a api api simply api okay so i created one page name is api so in this particular page I want to create multiple page okay so one will be design document design documents okay another page I want to create development or api standards so here oh sorry so here i i will maintain all the documents related to our api standard so i will define like what all things you need to follow when you are developing api okay i will create one more page inside this particular page uh, let's say credentials so here i will maintain all the credential what uh, like this api team should have okay so these all are shared repository for everyone like i have given access to three person so they will able to see all this three page okay now here in the uh, credential let's say 
inside credential i will create one more page in this page title i am giving as a this any point or maybe mulesoft credential okay and here you can mention okay let's say uh, organization id i want to share with everyone this is my organization id and then i want to share like any point platform Soft repo. So, if you will take enterprise ID, uh, enterprise ID, or enterprise license, there will be one license, uh, one user ID and password will be for MuleSoft repository. Okay, that will be for uh, for your organization only. Okay, there are few dependency you will able to download with the help of that user ID and password. So, let's say this is. So this will be common for all team members. So we can mention here. Okay. So in this way, you can create few details here and you can share. So that things will be visible. So if someone want some any document or anything, they will come here and they will open particular thing and they will able to see here. Who created? Created by me one minute ago these are details if someone want to give some comment I want whatever comment I want to give I can give if someone will give another comment they, that comment will be visible so quickly Chitimini can you share your screen yes Are you getting me screen? Uh, it's loading for me. I'm not sure about other. It's loading for me. It's for everyone. It's loading only. So yeah, you can you can share your screen again to do anything. There's some network resource. Can you share my screen? Uh, okay. So I have given you access. Yes, yes. Myself, Giri Okay, yeah, you can share. Yeah, let let him share. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here you can see whatever document and whatever I details i created he is able to see all these things so whatever share repository or share documents we have you can put in conference so if you want you can also comment here like okay this uh this mules of user id is incorrect so i'm updating this so you can update this user id and you can put comment okay so the, this kind of thing we can do here like we can share documents within our team Generally, we see like functional design document, technical design document. If we have any, any API standard document, or if you like, there are some credentials we want to share with the entire entire team. 
all the document related things which we want to share within our, our organization we used to maintain on confluence so hope everyone clear with this hello Ravi. yeah i have one, que one question like uh, uh putting these things uh, like uh, credentials here would it not be contradictory uh with that no, idea of just like given securing example. I have just given oh. an example. Okay. So okay. there can okay. be few credential which everyone should know in within your organization. That credential you can keep here. Not your credential or some confidential thing which it, which you should not see here. Okay. I just give an example. Like there may be few credential which is not very sensitive and that you can share with, with within your organization that you can put here. For example, client ID and client secret. Okay. Within your organization, if you will share with other developer, that is not any, that is not security breach or that is not like uh, very sensitive within your organization. Yeah, if that will be shared by outside, then it will be critical. But this will be within your organization. And not only, not everyone will able to see, means I added only 3%, so only those 3% will able to see. Is it clear? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay, fine then. So, yeah, you can stop sharing your screen. Yes, sir.